Here we are again for another episode of Panel Van Confessions. It's good to be back on the road having a chat with some guests. All right, it's my next guest. It's Mr. Lawrence Mooney. How are you, mate? Good on ya. It's gonna be good. This is beautiful. Oh my God, there's a traffic jam. It's all right, there we go. the panel van takes precedence. Absolutely. Moon man, welcome to Panel Van Confessions. It's great to have you. It's on very the show. nice to be here, Zwari. This is a good, a good way for men to talk, isn't it? Kind of shoulder to shoulder, looking out, as opposed to actually looking in each other's eyes, because we, we, we tend to open up more when we're looking out. I, I think it's probably because it's too confronting just to stare someone in the face the <laughs> whole time. <laughs> if a male friend's going through a rough patch, what do you do? Very rarely they, do they put their hand up. True, very rarely so does a man come to you and say, "Listen, I'm." in all sorts. Our instinct is to lone wolf it when we've got a problem. I've declared myself a lot more to my wife. I'm struggling with something or there's something going on in my mind. And every time it's it's the same revelation, which is, you know, problem shared is a problem halved. Yep. The moment you verbalise it, it diminishes the problem or how manageable it is. Whereas inside your own head, the world's coming to an end. But in terms of men talking to men, I still don't think we declare ourselves because no. I don't want you to think that I'm, you know, emotionally or psychologically suspect. Yeah. You know, there's yeah, still yeah. a lot of stigma attached to me coming to you and saying, Swari, I'm, I think I'm on the point of a nervous breakdown, mate. Yeah. That stereotype, we know that it's bullshit and <laughs> yeah. that women are just as strong emotionally if not stronger yeah we still perpetuate that stereotype that we've got to be the strong ones we've got to be the rock mm. whereas you know our suicide statistics and how premature death and our illness would basically say no we're the most vulnerable exactly you did talk about uh suicide um and your actual experience with it it was about a a suicide attempt that I'd made in uh, 1990. But I think that discussing the mechanics is important because you can die yeah. in a suicide attempt. And you may not want to. It might be so it might be petulant, it might yeah, be rebellious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's left me, they've sacked me, or no one has, understands me. Remember that that might be it. And I'm yeah. so glad that I didn't die in 1990 because I would have had a fairly shit and short life at 25. Because wow. the last 25 yeah. years have been the primo, yeah. the cream on the cake yeah. years. Yeah. I wouldn't have met my wife, I wouldn't have had my children, I wouldn't have embarked on stand-up. If a mate is going through a tough time, but they're yeah. not talking about it, they're being a rock, how do you actually, you know, quietly get them talking? Just telling somebody that you love them. Yeah, is probably yeah. the best way through. We're a product of the feminist wave that hit this country in the early 70s. Yep. And so we're more able to say to one another, you know, I love you, man. Yeah, yeah. Whereas before, I doubt whether men express that emotion to each other. Could you imagine our dads telling Saying, each other they love, loved each yeah, other? Yeah. No. <laughs> That's right. Mate, that was fantastic. Thank you so much. That's a pleasure. That.